All right, this is the incline bench press. Uh, with the incline bench press, this tends to uh, work the shoulders a little bit more than the flat bench press. The, the more we get to a uh, perpendicular position with the arms, the more the shoulders come into play. So if we're doing an incline press, we're working the upper or the clavicular portion of the chest as well as the shoulders and the triceps. Uh, again, this tends to work the shoulders a little bit harder than a flat bench press. Uh, so one of the things that I found when I'm doing this is that I prefer to work a little bit closer grip on the incline press and that just keeps my shoulders in a little bit better position, uh, less pain. I, I've, I've never really had an issue doing these incline presses. Some people, if they go wide with the elbows out, that tends to put a lot of stress on the shoulder. I just bring that grip in a little bit. Uh, not quite a closed grip, but what I usually do is uh, a normal grip for me is to go a thumb's distance from the start of the, the knurling on the bar. I usually bring it in so that maybe it's a half a thumb distance. That, that usually works pretty well for me. Other than that, the exercise is performed just like a regular bench press. Um, just remember, when you're pressing the weight, you're not going to press out over the chest like you do in a flat bench press, but you're going to press up over the head. So this is going to increase your uh, range of motion too. Um, after you take your grip on the bar, just unwrap the bar, bring it out over the chest so that the shoulders, the elbow and the wrist and the bar are all in line with each other. And you're going to lower the bar again, guiding it down with your elbows to the upper part of the chest and then press the bar straight up. Again, I've seen people that sometimes want to press out and away from the chest, but we want to press up over the neck and the chin. Again, we want to focus on structural alignment here. The shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist are all in alignment at lockout, and the elbow and the wrist are in alignment at the bottom position. And that's your uh, incline barbell press.